Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. Today's tip shows how to quickly fill a layer or a selection with the foreground or background colors. The foreground and background colors are located at the bottom of the Tools panel. They're represented by two overlapping squares. The square on the top represents the foreground color, and the square at the bottom represents the background color. To help show how this works, I have my foreground and background colors set to red and blue, but the default colors are black for the foreground color and white for the background color. Let me quickly show you how I did that so you can do it too if you want to. You can always get back to the default foreground and background colors by just pressing the letter D for default. So I'll do that now to change my foreground and background colors to their default colors of black and white. Now let's change the foreground color to red. Start by clicking right on the foreground color square. That brings up the color picker. Note the three buttons labeled R, G, and B. To make our foreground color red, we can click once inside the box labeled R for red, so I'll do that, and then type the number 255, which is the highest number that elements will accept for any color. And you can see the new color is shown near the top of the color picker box. Then click OK to close the color picker and accept the change. And our foreground color is now red. Now let's change the background color by clicking right on its square. And the color picker appears again. This time we want 255 in the blue box and 0 in the red and green fields. Right now all three have 255 as their values. So I'm going to click in the red box to make it active, and then type 0. Now I'll click in the green box to highlight it, and again type 0. Now we have the color we want with 255 in the blue box only, and we can see the blue near the top of the color picker. So let's click OK to close the color picker and accept the change. Let's get back to our tip, which is to show how to quickly fill a layer or a selection with the foreground or background colors. We'll start by filling a layer. First, I need to add a new layer by clicking on the Create a New Layer icon in the Layers panel. And now we have a new blank layer that's named Layer 1 by default. And here's the tip to fill with the foreground color. It's actually a keyboard shortcut. If you're on a Mac, press and hold down the Option key as you press the delete key. And if you're on a Windows PC, press and hold the alt key as you press the backspace key. And now that entire layer is filled with the foreground color, which in our example is red. To fill a layer with the background color on a Mac, press and hold the command key as you press the delete key. On a Windows PC, you press and hold the control key as you press the backspace key. Now let's fill a selection with the foreground or background colors. I'm going to delete this layer by dragging it to the trash icon in the Layers panel. We'll start by making a selection. I'm going to use the Rectangular Marquee tool to click and drag diagonally to make a simple selection. The keyboard shortcuts are the same to fill a selection as they are to fill a layer. So, it's Option-Delete on a Mac, or Alt-Backspace on a PC to fill a selection with the foreground color. While our selection is still active, let's fill it with the background color. I'll press Command-Delete on a Mac, or it would be Control-Backspace on a PC. And now the selection is filled with our background color, which is blue. As usual, we wandered into some related material, but the main tip is very simple. How to quickly fill a layer or a selection with the foreground or background colors, and it's Option Delete or Command Delete on a Mac, and Alt Backspace or Control Backspace on a PC. So, until next time, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com saying take care.